everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Hannah. I feel like I haven't filmed in forever. Um, I'm gonna have one little disclaimer. If you guys can tell, my eye is a little red. I am disgusting. I did recently, like literally yesterday, I got lash extensions done. I just spit lash extensions done for the first time and it's not infected it but anyway I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of a chatty get ready with me I did film my everyday makeup for you guys a while ago and I just didn't like the footage so here I am I'm gonna film it again before I get any questions this is actually a skirt from boohoo um, I literally I'm wearing sweatpants so don't mind it. my titties look so flat right now but um it's like pinned in the back <laughs> it's like zipped up and pinned so fuck me <laughs> anyway, I'm here now and I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup and by everyday I mean like my makeup when I want to do makeup It's literally like either I don't wear makeup or I wear a full face So this is gonna be like my full face makeup. Anyway, if you guys do like these videos, please give it a thumbs up I'll probably do like a little outfit idea as well at the end. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get right into it So first up, I'm just gonna spritz my face with the Mario Badescu rose water I had it Ugh. God damn it. That tastes so bad. I haven't used it in a while but it's actually pretty nice and we are into the dry season now so like oh okay that hurt i'm not sure if my eye is just like really dry you guys <laughs> give me one minute okay let's just chill oh my god i look like a psychopath i'm sorry my eye is so disgusting anyway i'm gonna go ahead and prime and i'm gonna use the no pore blem primer from touch and soul it's kind of like oily but not i don't know how to describe it but i really like it because it's like you really feel like your pores are getting like filled up which is so gross to think but <laughs> it's happening and i just put that on my t-zone because i am like dry to combo skin but my t-zone after a while like anybody else's gets pretty oily and i do bounce between this one and the ula henriksen banana bright primer it really just depends what i'm feeling that day next up i always try to go for like a really glowy undertone or like glowy skin underneath so i'm taking my l'oreal lumi glotion it's like just helps as another moisturizer as well and i kind of like emphasize it on like my cheeks and nose but it's also pretty much going everywhere so I also curled my hair for the first time, you guys, with a straightener, and I actually like how it looks. I need to kind of like give it a little bit of volume, but it was so much easier than doing it with a normal curler. Like, I hate curling my hair for that reason, but I just kind of was like messing around with a straightener, and it fucking worked, so hello. For foundation, I'm taking this Maybelline Superstay foundation. I kind of looked at like my previous videos and realized I literally only wear the NARS Natural Radiant, which is totally fine because like I like a foundation and you can obviously wear it um but i felt like it was just like really repetitive so i'm just gonna go ahead and try this one not really try it because i've literally this used to be my go-to as well so it's just a really pretty undertone i think and it's a really nice undertone for when i have a little bit of a tan going on it is a little bit too light like this is more of like a, my natural tan and honestly i don't remember the last time i did tan but i think it was friday and it's now thursday so it's been like a week no it was definitely like some Never mind. <laughs> Already, you can just tell. It gives you like this great coverage, super pretty color. Highly recommend it, especially because it's like a drugstore version. I wouldn't recommend, I mean, I love the NARS Natural Radiance one that I use, but it's so expensive. I wouldn't recommend that because I am somebody that likes to be on a budget. I don't even know why I bought that, but it is a good foundation. Okay, so next up, I do like to cream contour. A lot of people say it doesn't do much, but I think it does. So here I am. I'm taking this NYX. I believe this is a foundation stick. This is their mineral stick foundation in car. I actually really like it. I've had this for a very long time and I do switch between this one and the LA Girl concealer technically, but that one is in beautiful bronze. It's just a lot more cool tone, but right now I'm kind of like orange, honestly. So, and I'm also going to be taking the same brush I used for foundation. I feel like when I do that, everything just blends out really nicely together. And obviously you don't have to do this step. Like this is just something I like to do. I feel like it adds a little bit and just makes it easier for me to like powder contour because there's already something there. 
there and I don't look like so harsh with the powder contour. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of questions on this Instagram post. I'll insert it right here, but more like DMs, but it was just people asking me like, are you gonna do more makeup tutorials? And so here I am. This is the like the makeup I did for the concert I went to in Vegas. So I had a lot of people curious about that. Um, but I actually did use the NARS foundation instead of this one. I just knew like that's a go-to foundation and I didn't want to pack too many foundations obviously because I was only there for the weekend. Um, and I do like to kind of take this and drag it onto my cheeks to look like a bronzer, honestly. Next up, I know this is kind of weird, but I'm going to be taking my NARS foundation. This one is a lighter one in Duval, Duville. I don't know how to pronounce it. Since I just love the coverage on this, I like to use it as a concealer. God damn. My eye, bro. That is bad. I thought it was because um, I opened my eye too much, like with the glue and like the fumes of it really irritated my eye, which I think it did because it did like go down a little bit. And then I started like touching it and everything. And I don't know, maybe that's it. Maybe it was my fault completely. Who knows? But anyway, I'm just putting this where I usually would. And my first pump, it was like half of a pump. It's pretty much it. Like I don't go too hard with the concealer. Obviously, do what you fucking want. <laughs> Taking the same brush, maybe that's. That's why I have gross eyes because I just transferred it. No, that's not it. Okay, whatever. I literally started crying this morning. I was just like, Brian, I don't know what to do. And I was just like, I was holding back the tears. I am a strong woman, but when I'm stressed, I am no longer a strong woman. <laughs> I do feel like though a beauty blender can get a little bit more like uptight to your eye. So before I set my face, I do like to kind of fill in my brows and I'm just taking this NYX Professional Makeup Tinted Brow Mascara. Now my brows are pretty cleaned up. I haven't got them waxed in a while, but I really did need to pluck them. The wedding I went to this past weekend, so I kind of plucked them a little bit. I think they're all right, but I do like to just fill it in with a little bit of a darker whatever tint to it or gel, I guess you could say. It's literally what it is, a gel. And then I'll kind of just map them out because, ew, do you see how gross that is? Was I blurry the entire time? Please don't be blurry. But I really just kind of messily fill them in because look at that. That's gross. That's actually gross. So again, same foundation, just a little tiny dot because you don't want to go too hard on the lids. I mean, you can. Whatever. <laughs> um, oh! Wow. That's annoying. Mostly starting off closer to the bottom. Still kind of dark. I need to get these waxed. And I do like to just kind of pat this in. See, that just makes it look a lot more natural. You know what I'm saying? And I literally, I like I said, I've never had lashes. I feel like the application of the lash is really, I just am itching my boob over here. It's really what takes up my time. Honestly, it doesn't because it literally takes me like a total of five minutes because I'm putting on the mascara, putting on the glue, waiting for it to like set and dry. But that's literally it. But now I'm taking my Airspun Loose Finishing Powder. A lot of people ask me what kind of like setting powder I use because my my makeup, I'm gonna brag a little bit, my makeup lasts all night long, girl. And again, I do have dry to combo skin, so it's a little bit easier for me to not get so oily, but I definitely do get oily. But I just used the Airspun Loose Finishing Powder. You can find it at CVS, Walmart, Target, I believe now literally anywhere. You can also buy it online, but I really make sure to pack it on right next to my nose. So now to kind of just set the rest of my face, I haven't been doing this, but I've realized like I need to put this step in. I'm just taking this Maybelline Fit Me Fair Light Powder and it is pretty light. So I'd rather have something a little bit too light than too dark, I guess. I don't know. Everybody's preference is different, but I'm just going around and patting that on over my face and on the contour areas and also on my forehead. Now I found that this helps with my forehead because literally I've gotten so much like, if I don't set it, I get muddy, which is so gross. But I just don't like that look, obviously. I don't think many people would. So I do just have the rest of the powder just like, why does my nipple it dry bro okay anyway um i just have like the powder sitting on my face i didn't fully wipe it off which is totally okay that's kind of what i normally do just to make sure it really sets my face now i'm going in with my nyx um contour palette i believe i haven't used this in a while but i have kind of reached back for it and it's just, I think, a really nice color. It's very pigmented, easy to blend out again. Very inexpensive, I believe. Well, maybe like $10. I still think it's a pretty good price. You do get a pretty big pan. And again, I'm kind of bringing that all the way down, but also towards my cheeks, acting as like a bronzer. And I'm just going everywhere where I did that cream contour. Moving on to blush. I'm not one that really used blush quite a lot, but I really do like this blush palette from Morphe. 
eh. Morphe, send me products, please. Anyway, I'm just gonna take my same contour brush. I don't usually do that, but I can't find my blush brush. But I really like Provocative. It's like this gorgeous red color. I feel like it'd look a lot better on a darker skin tone, but I'm here. So now I'm gonna set my face and I like I said I went to a wedding this past weekend and I forgot setting powder I forgot all my bras not setting powder setting spray So I went to Dollar General and picked this up This is the natural finish setting spray from wet n wild. I believe it was not a dollar Let me tell you that it was like so I actually really like this one It's cruelty free all that good stuff and I wasn't like I never tried it I always go with my um, makeup revolution, but I really like this one. So I'm just gonna let that like sit and just soak in. But for highlight, I have been highlight just here and there, but I do use a very flimsy brush. As you can tell, it's very moldable. This is a, hello, r &L Moda brush. Now I don't believe, um, but I think I got it in like BoxyCharm when I was affiliated with them. Not anymore. Anyway, I'm just gonna take that same blush palette and there's this really pretty highlight called Babe. It's more of like a pinky. It does have like a pink champagne undertone to it. So since this is kind of dry, I'm just gonna pick that up with that brush. And honestly, I like, again, I like to pat in, make sure it's all good and then blend out. And I get, to, like I use a flimsy brush because I feel like that solid line a lot of girls have, like I used to have, really isn't cute. So I like how it just blends in with my bronzer and honestly creates like an all over shimmer. That's something that I like a little bit more. So moving on to lips, um, I'm pretty much done with my eyes. Honestly, all I really do is use a little bit of a contour color to give me a little bit of definition and I'm pretty sloppy about it because it's really not that big of a deal to me. All I want is a little bit of definition. I think I said that like 20 times now. Okay, so for lips, I have been liking a very nude lip for me. Um, this is the Dainty Days NYX Suede Liner. I do have um, like foundation on my lips still, but... That is so nude, like I literally look like I have no lips. Um, I'm just gonna take, this is pretty old as well and it's very pink, but this is the Melted Matte from Too Faced. This is Me So Pretty. I remember I thought I was the baddest bitch because I had like a trio of these. Oh shit, that's light. I'm just gonna keep it like that, right in the center. I usually don't use this one, I use a different one. It's a little bit more nude, but I do like the matte look and these lipsticks, you guys are super matte. For now, I think I'm gonna leave it and that's pretty much like my go-to makeup. Like I said, I know it's a little much for that much foundation. Look at my freaking brush those out. You don't want turd curls now. Okay, but that is the end. Um, I will, nah, not gonna do an outfit because literally like, what am I gonna wear with this? Anyway, um, if you guys do like videos like this one, little get ready with me, like make my makeup tips and all that stuff, please give it a thumbs up. I would really love it if you did. I seriously appreciate it. Literally the dog started barking above us in our apartment and I apologize if you could hear him. Um, I literally cannot wait to move out, purchase my own house. So please watch the ads. I should have said that in the beginning. Next time, watch the end as well. Anyway, thank you so very much, you guys. I seriously appreciate every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much for watching. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Um, I'm pretty active. I do read all my comments, even if they're pretty gross. So again, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you guys do want to stay up to date with me, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. It's always linked down below in the description box or it's just at Hannah Garski. I'm way more active on there. Post a couple more pictures than I do here, stuff like that. So it's just Hannah Garski. Again, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.